So the man was praying and discerning and felt called to the priesthood and just couldn't break it off. Love this girl so much. They had a very good, pure relationship, loved her so much. And it's like, I don't feel called to marriage because I feel called to the priesthood. Here's a great question. Ryan Casey. Ryan Casey says everyone thinks engagement is just a wedding planning stage where you're basically locked in. And while betrothal does hold you to your word, it allows for discernment still. So the idea of is engagement locking me in or can I still discern during that time? Yeah. Um, is engagement locking me in or is it still part of discernment? OK, don't propose to someone unless you see yourself marrying them. That's the first thing. So don't be like, oh, this seems like a nice girl. I'm going to propose and then we'll discern. No, you're still discerning the whole time. But in that time period, yes, you are planning for a wedding. But even more importantly, you're planning for a life together. Um, things like marriage prep. Matt and I had a great um, couple, the brooms. Our priest, Father Bill, was so good at this. He paired us with a couple that would help us. And um, it was our marriage prep. And Matt would go off with a husband, I go off with a wife, we do something, come together, talk about it as a couple. And a lot of things got brought up that I don't think would have been brought up otherwise. And there was things that got brought into light. And I and another friend of mine, it was actually just one of my best friend's dads, who's not even Catholic, but he was, I think he was actually engaged to this German girl, um, but didn't marry her. And I think they called off the wedding because he realized he's like, before you can say I do to someone from another country, you have to be willing to say goodbye to your family, your country, everything that you know. If you're not willing to do that, you should not marry them. And I thought that was actually really good advice. And I was willing to do that. And we both lived in other countries. I, I feel like it's not as hard. Well, maybe it's going to get harder now with COVID. I don't know. Um, but having people give you advice, yes. I think as you get closer to the wedding, it, it kind of is more about planning the wedding. You still have the freedom to walk away, but it kind of would be really... Speak about the Bardas, how great it was that he broke that. I think there's a great deal of Actually, story. both Bardas. Yes. Both couples. Yeah, but the name, but okay, so I actually have friends that um, were engaged, and one, one of the couples were both engaged to other... Actually, they both may have been. Anyhow. We'll, we'll go with the one example where one was engaged to someone and one was engaged to someone else. They both were praying and discerning. And this one guy in particular, I'll use him as the main example. So this one guy was engaged to a woman and then went and saw an old girl he used to date, not on purpose, they just happened to be at like a conference together and saw her and something flared up in his heart and was like, <gasps> he was like, oh my goodness, I'm engaged to marry this other girl, but what is this? And like really prayed about it and wrestled with it. And he's like, I don't think I can marry her because something new is stirring up with this other girl. He didn't do any. He didn't tell this girl this. He didn't act on it. None of that. It was very pure and innocent. But that was enough to be like, I don't know if we're supposed to get married. And so he called off his engagement. Now he's actually married to that woman, which is really cool and fun. And then there's this other story I know of a couple who um, this I forget which way it went, but I'll assume that it, it was it was the. I'll assume that it was the man. So the man was praying and discerning and felt called to the priesthood and just couldn't break it off. Love this girl so much. They had a very good, pure relationship, loved her so much. And it's like, I don't feel called to marriage because I feel called to the priesthood. So like any good man, he gave it to his mama and said, Mary, you've got to You've got to do this. You need to call off the wedding. You need to put it on her and have her call off the wedding because I can't do it. Like, I, I don't have the heart to hurt her. Well, no, it's actually, it was really cool. Um, she came to him and said, I love you so much. You're my best friend in the entire world. I don't know how to tell you this, but I really feel called to this religious order. And this is a real couple. I forget if she's a CFR or a sister of life, but she's like, I feel called to this religious order. He started laughing and she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It really hurts. Like, I, I have it gone, dr driven you mad? And he starts laughing and he's like, I'm so thankful. I told our lady that he, she had to take care of this. I ca feel called to the priesthood. So to this day, she's a nun and he's a priest. And they're still friends because they had a good chaste, mar uh, good chaste engagement. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid. Our lady will help you out. Um, but maybe if you're the guy, you still should also tell her.